since the dawn of science, it's incredible how much we've learned about life and living processes. But it's even more astonishing to realize how much we still don't know. But why? Because life is incredibly complex. If we want to understand a living process, often we have to simplify it, isolate it somehow to study it, which can be extremely challenging, even impossible sometimes. In order to help with this, we have been studying so-called biomimetic materials for many years now. These are artificial materials that are non-living, but they behave like living tissues or organisms. They mimic biological processes. In my project, I work with such a biomimetic material. It's a gel substance, like a wobbly jelly dessert. Uh, this gel has the special ability to behave like the heart. When you have large pieces, you can see that there's a pulsating pattern that is traveling on the surface, similarly to how an ECG signal is traveling the heart. On the other hand, if you take small pieces, they beat like individual heart cells. My research aims to understand the underlying mechanism in detail behind this. There's an ongoing chemical reaction, which is periodically repeating. You can actually see this because the gel changes color between uh, dark red and light greenish red back and forth. This chemical process then starts a mechanical process. The gel expands and contracts rhythmically like the heartbeat, and this is purely a result of the physical chemical interactions. A question arises naturally here. Is this gel really like the heart or is it just similar? The answer is yes, it's much more than just similarity. In my experiments, I managed to show that you can teach this non-living gel to beat in time with an external signal, just like a pacemaker can be implanted to help a patient who has arrhythmia. The comparison comes from this. In each individual heart cell, and between billions of these cells actually, you can find the same sort of chemical, mechanical and electrical processes that are periodically repeating and they keep interacting in an endlessly complex interconnected system. Both the living heart and the non-living gel develop these periodic processes due to the same underlying physical chemical laws. So when I study my gel, I really study the heart too in an abstract way. The more we learn about this gel, the more we are going to know about the heart too and potentially could help with important research in the future like developing treatments for cardiac disease or who knows, even build an artificial heart.